the game plan for New Heisel. Eat the clock, shorten the game, and try to limit the number of plays the Ducks can get off. Oregon set to kick off. UCLA set to receive. And we are underway from Autzen. It is Damian Thigpen who will take it in the end zone. Big Pam will be knocked down at about the 21 yard line. You see the number not good on third down overall among the worst in the country. Brijo firing got a man but it's intercepted. Picked off by John Boyette. That is Oregon's 23rd takeaway this season that leads the nation. So the defense stopping the UCLA drive. Darren Thomas will throw. He's got his man, his tight end, David Paulson. Paulson across the 30, up close to the 35. Thomas going to throw it again. He's got Jeff Mayo in the Bruin territory. And down to the 45 yard line. Thomas, wide open is LaMichael James. First down and more. James inside the 20. Touchdown saving tackle by Raheem Moore. Tempo, tempo, tempo. LaMichael has it. James, touchdown. One thing we've seen all season with the fast paced offense is when they get to the huddle or to the line without a huddle, many of them have mistakes. That doesn't happen with Oregon. They're able to get up there, snap it quick before the defense is ever set. Yeah, he crosses. Oh, that's easily that's a touchdown. touchdown. Yeah, Easy. That won't be long. But you know what I'm saying? How many times have we seen that? Fast pace, fast pace, fumble exchange. Thomas turns the corner. And Darren will have the first down, it appears, at about the 12 yard line. Alston touchdown Oregon. Nate Costa the backup quarterback they have the automatic if they see it they'll just run it for two and. It looks as if Costa got it in. Franklin. Franklin into the secondary he's close to another first down. For UCLA. It was the first down. Derek Coleman's into the game for the Bruins, and the Bruins running right at the Ducks. So Forbath, who's hit eight out of ten, puts his foot to it. There's not a guy in college football more automatic than him. Bruins on the board, 15 3. Ducks will get it back. And Oregon, while certainly some great stars in its history, trying to go 7 0 for just the third time in school history. The last time was 1933. Darren Thomas firing. Thomas is nine for nine. It's another Oregon touchdown, and it's Josh Huff on the catch. That was not pretty. It was effective, and in less than a minute, Ducks put together three plays and score a touchdown. Well, they're going to get a great clear out route here on this touchdown pass. It's going to isolate the true freshman, Josh Huff. He's at the top of the screen, number four. He's just going to run into the middle of the field. And there are absolutely no white jerseys. This is an easy read for Darren Thomas. And again, Craig, no pressure on the quarterback. You guys know how Chip Kelly told us he didn't like to waste time. He has shorter meetings, shorter practices, just wants to be efficient. Is uh, 22 points on 21 plays efficient? Thomas a perfect 10 for 10. Ducks will run it. James cuts it back. This is where he's dangerous. James taking a break. Leave it right up the middle. No, it's the pitch. Great fate by Thomas. I thought he'd given it off. It's Josh Huff. You better use him. Uh, I know. <laughs> you see, right now, I would have lost. I would have lost my assignment. If you lost what your assignment going after the dive. Get the field. <laughs> and there goes Huff. <laughs> Oh man, that, they Wait, what they're that doing one. on first down, guys. Well, and that and that's the difference. Again, they just stay on the field. That is the critical down if you're UCLA's defense tonight. 
Thomas keeps it. Takes a hit, completes it. He's 11 for 11. Jeff Mayo with another catch. Thomas needs 15. Pressure coming. He takes another hit. Davis complete. Turns it north south, trying to get to the first down marker. And it looks as if he's going to be about a yard short. They've converted a fourth down tonight. Ball snapped quickly. James, first down. Thomas. Fire. Touchdown, Paulson. About to make it 29 to 3. How about this number here? 21 out of 23 receptions by Paulson have been for a first down or a touchdown. You think that's a guy that just gets it done? He is the guy that the Oregon coaches will tell you have the best hands on the team. He had to go get a low one, and the Ducks are up by 26. And that's a win for UCLA's defense, guys. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, Weird as it is to say that, letting them march down the field here in two minutes, that's a, that's a win. A field goal against this offense is a win. It's first stop. Bob Beard puts it up, puts it through, and with that, since Chip Kelly arrived as offensive coordinator in 2007, this, the most points Oregon has ever scored against UCLA. Second half is underway. Josh Huff returning the kickoff. Huff's got great speed. He's tripped up just across the 30. Huff on the pitch. Another first down big gain that moves the chains immediately for the Ducks. Jen, Jesse mentioned he'd been able to go to his second or third read. Rolling to his left, another completion. Now 17 of 21. Lavachier 2 and 8. The coverage was by Raheem Moore. This is easily the best I've ever seen Darren Thomas throw the football, whether it's been in the pocket, whether he's getting on the perimeter. I wonder what the Lee Corso play is. Thomas on third down is complete. Davis has it. He's pushed out of bounds. Looks as if he'll have enough for the first down. They're going against the juggernaut right now. Thomas. Enzo. Touchdown. Jeff Mayo delivers again. A uh, beard on for the extra point. And the Ducks have 39 on the board. Duck, I'm going to tell you the chest muscle is going to be sore from all the push ups. UCLA sore from getting steamrolled. Third touchdown pass of the night from Darren Thomas. Men in yellow are rolling. <laughs> As you saw a moment ago on third down. Now they'll try to keep the Bruins from getting two yards. Franklin. First hole wasn't there. Didn't have anywhere to go. Josh Cadu makes the stop. But Ty Forbath is going to try a field goal. He is only six field goals short of the NCAA record. Ty from about 49, easily within his range and well within his accuracy. Two Forbath field goals tonight. He's five away from the record. The Bruins still down 33. Junior has four catches on the season and none tonight, but he's Help the Bruins run it a little bit at times. Brio's holding it too long. Ball's on the ground. Looks like the Ducks have it. Kenny Rowe got to Richard Brio, and Oregon's on the doorstep. Down inside your near your own end. Third down, ball's got to come out. And if, if your first receiver's not open right away, you immediately got to look for a check down. You got to throw this football away. Yeah, but just to tell you how much of a work in progress UCLA is, at left tackle 72, Sean Scheller was playing defense in 09. There are three guys that aren't on that UCLA offensive line. Xavier Suofilo is on a Mormon mission. And Michael James goes in for a touchdown. Another academic ineligibility and another with an injury. Guys that could have been starters up front for UCLA. Kevin Prince is starting quarterbacks out, and Oregon is now rolling it up as Michael James winning again. Costa. Nate Costa driving inside the five, and the quarterback who aspires to be a Secret Service agent 
Trying to punch one in. Touching on what you just said, Craig, teams that will compete for the national championship this season will have to be deep. And they have a lot of depth on offense, really at every position. Nate Koss is a guy that proved himself two weeks ago in a win against Washington State. They have it at every spot. They got two quarterbacks that can win. Alston looking for the end zone touchdown. That certainly played into the fact that maybe Barclays Brio just gets smashed from behind. It's picked up. It's going to be a fumble. It is Marvin Johnson who's trying to get in the end zone. And Brandon Hanna who knocked it loose and the Ducks have a chance to get to 60. We play in college football review, so they've had a look at it. Not the case. Ducks keep it on the ground. Alston diving for the pylon. No signal. Yeah, it looked like a touchdown. And now they give it to him. Remine Alston going into the end zone for the third time tonight. Brio. Richard Brio into the end zone. Touchdown Bruins. Visited with Scott on his radio show today. Big fan of college football. Loves the sport with a great passion. We always get a kick out of hearing Scotty do the highlights on Thursday nights after our game. We'll see Sports Center coming up in a minute. Somebody should tell me who's anchoring Sports Center with Scott so I don't, it's not just, you know, all the praise for one anchor, not the other one. As 14 seconds away, Oregon has finished off UCLA. 60 to 13. Time winds down. 